Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. Um, the other day I had bought two of the French breads. And you know with the spaghetti I made it the other day. So what I'm going to do is use this other, the other one that we have before it goes bad. I'm going to be making French bread pizzas tonight, so I'll bring it down here and show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and take my bread knife, and hopefully I can cut this more in half than I normally do. Usually I mangle it pretty bad. One side is really off where <laughs> the one side is really good. See, I started me a little right there, too. All right. Yeah, see what I'm saying? This is why I don't like to cut French bread, and I usually have my husband do it for me. But what I'm going to do is, the other day when I actually um, made those Texas toast pizzas, I actually toasted the bread first, and that seemed to work out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and um, toast these first, and then I'll be back and I'll put these together and show you what we're doing. And also, anyone that's known me and been around me a little bit knows that I do like to use freeze-dried items on my pizzas. This will be some mushrooms. And then I'll be doing some green pepper and onion also. And this makes it really nice just for a fast, easy pizza night. You don't have to sit there and chop up vegetables or anything to that effect, which makes it incredibly nice. And then, like I said, I don't stir, I don't um, put like how much water they say, you know, you're only supposed to put so much water. I never measure how much water I put in here. I just, whatever's left, once this is done soaking after the few minutes, then I just, just disregard the water. So this is probably going to almost take all of the water. I didn't have a super amount in there. But as you can see, I mean, that's already almost all reconstituted so quickly like that. And I will bring you back once the um, pizzas are actually out of the oven and we can get that going. All right, I toasted this, not a lot, but I toasted it a little bit where it should hopefully soak in all of the tomato um, spaghetti sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and just put some on here. I did cut a little bit of that bread off this one that was so bad. I mean, I can't help this angle this one's on, obviously. One of us is going to just have some funky pizza. <laughs> Like I said, I was hoping I was going to find something to use that leftover spaghetti sauce. I didn't think we were going to have pizza again, but sometimes pizza is just a good, fast, easy meal. I'm going to go ahead and put some of that spaghetti seasoning on here, too. Since technically that spaghetti sauce doesn't have any seasoning whatsoever. Cat's getting into plastic. Hold on, let me get him all the way from the plastic. Crazy cat doesn't like to eat his cat food, but he likes to eat plastic. So I'll go ahead and put a little bit of cheese on here. I'm sure I'm going to be happy to clean the June when I'm all done with it. Okay. And we have the turkey pepperoni.
and this has just a little bit of water left in there. I'm going to go ahead and drain that out. And I'm going to go ahead and put the spoon there. Spread out the vegetables on this top here. Luckily, Mark and I both like the same thing on both of our pizzas, so. That was about the perfect amount. All right. So, Mark likes to have the mild yellow peppers on here. So we'll go ahead and have those on here too. And then what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna put them in, put this in the June. I don't know how long this is gonna take to cook. I'm just gonna have to keep an eyeball on this and see what the what the time is. And I will be back in just a little bit uh, once things are done. All right, friends, here's dinner. And uh, that's pretty quick, pretty fast. But just got to get this cut up. We'll get this eight, and thank you very much for stopping by. But my question today for you is, do you make French bread pizzas? Do you do it like in your toaster oven? Do you do it in a real oven? How are you doing yours? What's your favorite toppings? Hmm. I really, my favorite pizza is actually a vegetarian pizza with like broccoli and onions and spinach and all that stuff. I really love a, a vegetarian pizza probably more than anything. But this is pretty close to it other than just the um, pepperoni. So thank you very much for stopping by and you have a very blessed and wonderful day.